A three-run blast ties it. Yiner Diaz, the walk-off single, his first career walk-off hit, scoring Kyle Tucker, and the Astros win 10-9. And that final play, I've talked with both of you uh, prior to the show. The base hit to right. Remember, Travis Jankowski was in right field. Adolis Garcia is hurt. Yeah. If he's in there in right field making that play, maybe the scenario unfolds a little bit differently. But what did you guys see? But I, I know this. I know the game ends if Nathaniel Lowe cuts that baseball. Whether it bounces 17 times to home plate or not, I know he's trying to make a play and bail Jankowski out, but – as soon as he cuts a game over. It looked like it was coming in a little bit weak. Yeah. And I think you're just sitting there in this situation. You're going, I got to do something. Because I can't just watch this thing roll. But either way, the game's over. Yep. Period. All right. So, there were, again, we did this yesterday. We looked at a few moments. Teaching moments. Because I have so many during these tournaments, these youth tournaments, I have so many coaches come up and say, hey, we watch the show. We clip things off. We use them as teaching moments. Right. You're the best in the biz at teaching moments. I, I think the game, these, these are teaching moments and there's conversation moments. Exactly. E especially on a couple of these instances that come up. And there's a lot to talk about on something like this up here, which is a lazy sack fly. This is but a it's definitely play to, to the layman. There we go. Schwarber hits this ball right here to left center field, D-Row. Okay, you see them both calling it. Run this back real quick. Keep going. You're going to see both of them go like this. Okay? Do it. Right. Rob, pause it. Okay. They're both calling for it. Okay. Which one thing I'd like to say, you want this in exactly. your outfield. Exactly. You want aggressive now, play. Now, who's the priority? Well, this is the priority. It's always center field. And because this is a situation where he's going to be better served to be lining up to home plate than going this way and then throwing. And you can tell Austin Hayes wants this He ball. wants it. He wants it. But he has to relent. And when he relents, he turns his back on the play <laughs> like, you son of a gun. Come I on. wanted to make this throw to home. My only thing is, is if Austin Hayes is going to relent and Colton Kowser is going to take this ball, he's got to give me better than this on yeah. the throw home. I mean, he catches this kind of over his left shoulder, not in position to make a great throw. Five hops <laughs> it. It's a no-brainer. Freeze it, please. Because I want to point something out, too. When I said conversations, this yeah. is not necessarily teaching. But that inning setup was the O's were up one. And this is second and third with one out. And they decided to play infield in in the fifth inning. So my question in the conversation is, I know Schwarber's not a ground ball guy. But if a ball rolls through anywhere in this infield, it's two it's to two one runs. filled. Yeah. So this is a, a thought process that happens in the game now almost automatically. I like infield in. I know you do. Yeah. But would you do it right here where you're going to give up two? I wouldn't have done it right in, in, okay. in this situation, but I kind of like where Brandon Hyde was. So, back, listen, shortstop's got priority over to second baseman, over to third baseman. First baseman's got priority over the catcher. These are things you work on. Center fielder, soon as he calls Austin Hayes off or calls the right fielder off, whether you got an ego or not, right. you got to relent. Right. Run that through field. because the one thing that's that's real is it's better to throw a one hopper to the cut. And Mountcastle does a good job getting over here because if you throw a one hopper to the cut, the guy on second can't, can't get Can't go. Third. So that's important right there. If you can't get him, go ahead and give your cutoff man a chance. This it is a play good right here. in that play, Colton. This is a play right here that I want to look at because freeze. And you don't have to worry about anything right here. Remember, d Row, I always talk about this. Yeah. The scoreboard tells you how to play. There's two outs. There's a man on first. This is a rocket one hopper to the right fielder. Play it, please. I saw this. So Teoscar comes over there, catches this, and says, this is like Christmas morning. You made the third out of third base. And what I want to look third at. Third out at third. Right. Uh, and it's not close. It's not like, okay, well, you almost, no, it's not close. Freeze it. Because what I want to talk about right here is I talked yesterday about the one-hop throw to a base. If you have a one-hop throw to a base, it should be cuttable. And it's the responsibility of the cutoff man, not the relay man, because this is a cut situation. The cutoff man to do it. You see how far he has to I, go I to get to third base? That, right. You go tandem with him and get to a spot. 
You don't watch the play when it's developing and stand there and cross your arms. And you have got to get over here <laughs> where you are. Come on. All those things have to happen. Play it, please. We're watching. We're starting to go. And then, we, it, just, then we just hold up. If that gets by, it's your run. It's your run. <laughs> I don't hold like on, Hold on and run that all the way back. Okay. Run it all the way back. I knew I'd ignite something in God. Here. Okay. Keep going all the way back. I want the slow-mo of Julian sliding in. Keep running this back right here. All right, pause it. You see Suarez where he's going to take the throw. You see the first uh, third base coach pointing inside. I mean, I need something. I can't just go limp, break my clavicle, and go to the ground right here. Watch. I mean, we're just, I'm out. Third out at third. Now I hurt myself. He might have been saying I should have stopped at second base right there sometime because that's probably what should have happened. And you go over all this stuff. You know what, what arm T. Oscar Hernandez I would hope. has. You know what arm He's one of the few that can throw. Yeah. Right? This is so good. Come on, Louie. Get over there, bud. Get over here. Yeah. All right, on to the next. By the way, Minnesota, same game. They go to extra innings off Seawald. And my man, Christian Javier, and Jeffers tries to safety squeeze to win this thing. Let's get into this one. So here's the conversation, too, when we were talking about bunting. Because you, Pause li this. you like to do that. OK, so the rules percentage plays, if you're the visiting team, you right. should not bunt in extra innings. Because one run is usually not going to win you the game with a guy on second base. The okay. percentage is safe. But obviously, the home team comes up. You're bunting. Right. I'm sorry. I, I would still probably push the envelope on the other side. But you got a man on second, no outs. When I said you like to push it over okay. there, that was your comfort. I was a guy who was asked to do exactly this Me a too. lot. And I used to get so annoyed at Bobby Cox because he used to say, here, go bunt off Billy Wagner and get it down to third baseline. I'm like, it's impossible, all right? It's like, kung, kung. there's no way. Well, there so is I would, I, I know, I would give up and go to my stock, push it down to right. first base. So play this forward because obviously Vasquez has a comfort zone of pushing it. That's nice. And that is really nice because it doesn't happen that much, so I'm not so sure how much we're used to defending. Rizzo would have been up his tail. No doubt. So now, man on third, Please. this is definitely a safety squeeze, and no one was able to get to first base. Do you think it's a great read? You think if freeze, he goes, he's freeze, safe? Freeze. No, I don't. I don't think kind of can. a great read, but I don't him. think you can you can test the envelope when he's picking it up. But one thing that has to where's happen the second here, baseman? One thing that has to happen here is pre-pitch. If he bunts, it's just a conversation. If he bunts, I got you at the back. That's the conversation there. Derek Lee was the best at that. Every pitch he would tell me, you got bag or you got ball. Every pitch we knew what each other were doing. Conversation before the play. Play it, please. But you end up with a knock right there, and you set up first and third, and then Correa ends the game. Um, but we thought it was important to show the two bunts because it does happen. They were going safety squeeze okay. on them. Conversation again, because this right here, when we play this, D-Row, 2-1 count, stolen base attempt, line drive to center field. This is a line out double play. So the conversation is, can you peak, freeze, can you peak as a runner, because I, mean, I, be man. I believe you can and you should. It's a 2-1 count, lefty on lefty. I can't take this pitch. I can't assume the hit and run was on. Well, it's not hit and run. They, they, they stopped doing they that They stopped 10 doing years that ago. 10 years ago. But if he takes a peek, he's going to be OK. Did don't, you peek? Don't you, I peeked every time. I wasn't fast enough to peek. Well, I wasn't if fast I enough either, but I didn't want to be doubled up. I was head down going. All right, but play this because this is a bad look when you go head first in the second. It's a nice slide. You didn't even have to deke anything there. So my my belief, D Row here, I got a peek. Now I know you're a bag stealer. You stole bags in the minor leagues, you steal bags here. But for my preference, in a two-one count, it's not first pitch where this dude can take a strike and afford it. You're facing lefty lefty matchup, it's a two-one count. I cannot take a pitch just to let you get Electric to second to go 2-2. Two, two. I can't do it. So I'm going to swing the bat if it's there. So I don't know if the teaching of the game right now, if they're having their meetings prior to, I'm doubting it, they go through that in depth. But to me, you don't slow down if you take one 
while you're running. I think you can still maintain a pretty good foot speed by peeking. If I peek, I know where the ball is. I'm not relying on anybody else but myself. That's what I prefer. You getting this, Robert? You guys are magic together. Were yeah, you fast great. enough to peek? Was I what? Were you fast I was enough? not fast. Now, what do you think? <laughs> Roflo was fast <laughs> enough to peek. I was not. I never peeked. <laughs> not bl I've been blessed with a lot of things. I'm speed. going head first. Speed. Well, we'll, we'll discuss during the break. Uh, <laughs> speed is not one of them.